Catherine Cassidy from Youth Styled here, and I wanted to take a moment from your day to discuss some very important things. Spring trends and shopping your closet. What I've noticed in reading the editorial for you know the spring 2010 runway shows, checking out the magazines, looking at people.com, all those different you know avenues that I research for you, um, there's some key trends that I continue to see as far as advertising and editorial. Um, on the runway, there was a ton of the military inspired. Uh, we had a lot of pastels, grays, pinks, whites. Even like there was a lot of just total white looks. We had, did I say lingerie inspired? I don't think so. And we have cargo pants coming back. Basically what this means is that fashion is cyclical. So it goes in a circle, it goes out of style, it comes back into style. So if you're buying things that you love and you really want to wear them and they are true to you and what you like, then when the trends come back around, you already have them in your closet. Some other sort of trends um, that I'm seeing in editorial are some things that I've always believed strongly in, such as cream shoes or nude shoes, so that you always have a pair of shoes for your outfit, and also statement accessories, such as a statement ring, a statement bracelet, statement necklace, so that you have something that kind of creates visual interest with your outfit. So I wanted to take this commentary to the next level and show you that I actually live by this sort of mantra. You know, I really do shop my closet. Seeing that there are a lot of lingerie inspired looks, I think to myself, ah, oh, I have the perfect dress. This little gray number is so perfect. And <laughs> this little gray number is so perfect. And I love this. I've always loved this. And actually, these are supposed to uh, go like this to create a little corset look. But I remember, this is from when I was at BCBG, it was for the spring 2010, 2010, <laughs> no, but we are seeing lingerie again for spring 2010. It was for the spring runway show, and uh, obviously it was lingerie inspired, but I remember them designing it behind the scenes, thinking, oh my god, that dress is amazing, I want that dress once it's available, once it's in production. And then, lo and behold, we get a call from... Ashley Simpson's people that night, the day of the runway show, she wants to borrow the dress to wear to the MTV Music Video Awards. And all I could think was, no, that's my dress. Like, I don't care. I want to be the first one to wear it. I don't care if she's a celebrity. So anyways, that's a little side note to that. But obviously, I love the dress. And obviously, it's in good taste. <laughs> Another one that's very lingerie inspired also has the sheer effect as far as um, you know, the whole sheerness that lingerie tends to have, and feminine details, also the pale nude um, color, very on trend and more than a few years old. I just don't wear it that often, but it's there for the taking. Again, I was saying all white is a big thing for this season. We're also seeing a lot of really great feminine blouses coming into play, you know, softer fabrics, silks, um, sheer silks. And um, also this one, as you can see, has the ruffle detail, but I've had this for more than a few years again. Um, but great white blouse just to have. Always, it's a closet staple as it is, as a white blouse, but also trend appropriate for right now. Maxi dresses are also big. They're back. And um, I, basically, I don't need to go out and worry about buying one to be on trend. And I'm also showing it with the state, one of my favorite statement necklaces to show you how, I mean, the dress is great on its own, but you add this necklace and it's this whole other element. It's what, I mean, ah, voila. Shoes wise, because we all love our shoes, my new pumps go to compliments all the time, perfect. I always have a pair of shoes to wear with an outfit with a dress that is totally stunning. And another side note tip, nude pumps are great because they elongate your legs. They look like they just go on forever. So I love those. Um, as far as cream, I've had these cream little flats for, I had them probably for about six months before I actually wore them, which was a little bit of a sin from what I usually take as my MO for style, but they're great. I wore them for the first time. I had them in my closet. I was like, oh, this is cute. It's like shopping in my closet. Uh, these, I love these little shoes. Marc Jacobs, I bought them. Total steel. Um, while I was still in college, and we're not going to tell you how long ago that was, but 
they have this 80s influence. Obviously, all, everything Marc Jacobs does has the 80s influence, but 80s is influencing fashion all the time. So you can always say an 80s influence is on trend. So those are never going to go out of style. I can always love them. <laughs> and then these are my little gold flats for the summer season. I buy a new pair of gold flats every summer. I wear them to death because gold is a key neutral for me. And in the summer, you just want to be able to run around and all that good stuff and have fun, not worry about, you know, your heels. And they're perfect. So anyways, as you can see, I shot my closet for the spring 2010 trends, and I challenge you to do the same. In the meantime, I can't wait to meet you in your closet. Have a great day.